Let's add columns in InDesign. First off, if you go up to File to New, you're creating a new document. It's going to open up that new document window. We can select our size, the number of pages. We can also select the columns. So let's say I wanted a two column layout. The column gutter is the space between columns. So maybe I want that to be a quarter inch. So I've got 0.25 and I've got two columns. My margins are at a half inch and I can hit create. So that creates a new document, three pages. If you didn't see that, I actually created three pages, all with two columns and a quarter inch in between those columns. What about an existing document? How do I add columns to specific pages? How do I add columns to my entire document or edit my document column settings? We need to go up to pages. Make sure you have that window open, window drop down, and go find pages. Any page you want to adjust the columns to have highlighted. Once you have that page highlighted, I have this first page highlighted here, I go up to layout down to margins and columns. Here I could add columns and adjust things like the gutter uh, or anything like that. I can actually preview it. I can see it happening out here live and I hit OK. Now because I had that single page highlighted, it added four columns just to that page. But what if you wanted to adjust your entire document? Well, same concept applies. Just select all. So hold shift, click and click the next one or specific ones. Just hold command or control if you're on Windows and click and select specific pages that you want. But if you just hold shift, click the first one and while holding it, click the last one. It's gonna select everything in between that. So from here, we can go back up to layout, margins and columns. We're adjusting the layout of all those highlighted pages. Because it's multiple different column layouts, it shows blank in here, but we're gonna change that to uh, three. We're going to make a three column layout and hit OK. So now you see that the first page adjusted to three, but they all did. Every page I had selected up here adjusted to that layout. So that is how to add columns in InDesign. And don't forget that the gutter is the spacing between columns. You can adjust pages individually, your entire document, or just when you start a new document, you can select the amount of columns in your new document when you create it.